Let's load an accessory. So I usually have props for his. Uh, accessories or like, sure, a Pringle scan. Small little objects you can add to a scene. Is this the top of a Pringle? Oh, it's just a Pringle. Eh. Let's load another one. Let's see here. Let's load a car. And the difference, the true difference between a car that's a prop or a city pack. And a car that's just a regular car. Wait, wait, wait. The city pack is the one with the model cars. So let me do that. 7D, props, city pack. Let's get this spark car. Oh, it's a PMD. Hmm. <laughs> here oh that's weird the bone is up here there we go now let's get an accessory of a car I believe patchy had a bunch of these really bad cars packed vehicles mm-hmm there we go I use these a ton in my Gumi vid What are these models? So, there's the difference right there. This car only has one bone to it. If I activate this, you can only see it's still just the root bone. And that's the only thing you can move with it. But if we go into the model, by the way, the, no, I'll, get, I'll get to it. This car not only has let's see here the root bone but let's see here you can rotate the tires the doors I'm pretty sure one of these is the windows nope that that was okay that was the tires what was this one that's the chassis is this the windows? Oh, he's like, oh wait, wait, wait. It might also have windows. There we go. Windows. So it's got a whole bunch of different properties. Now, I believe we have gone through these three, which are very important to get you just, you know, get in things in. And the remove, it's it's all the way up here. But you don't have to even reach all the way up here. You just right click down here, remove model, and you're good. Okay, now that we have imported a few things, let's mess with them a little bit down at the bottom here. This humongous toolbar is actually just all these different panels and stuff here and the importing and all that it's just all buttons that do the exact same thing duplicate buttons I personally hate these now the toolbar you can actually get rid of a whole bunch of this let's see plug in toolbar gone what is this add remove buttons you can remove let's see here select unregistered bones don't care about that column pff, who needs that paste nah cut Nah, copy. You can just do all that with a right click. Register keyframes, super important. I'll get to that when we get to animation. Let's see here. Let's go to a little bit more further. Uh, select all bones. Select all. Use. Now, this gray arrow. Play, play, repeat, bookmark. Those are actually all pretty important. Let's mess with this one. Show information. Actually, let me click that real quick. You see that? 59 FPS and car X01. That's all show information does. I'm going to leave it on just just so you guys can see things. Information. Show it only expanded. Don't care. Show access. That is this at the bottom here. And that can be under view access. Now, let's see. Show pose handle. That can also be under view and pose handle. 
Now, what these do, hold on, this only works for models with actual bones. Now, pose handle is going to have these weird squares pop up. Now, it's all really cool at first when you mess with it because, hey, it messes through the whole arm. You can just set things up super simple, right? Well, yeah. It looks so super simple, doesn't it? The big problem with them is the same thing as to why I don't adjust the squares. They're based on the camera position. Which means you're going to have some unpredictable results if you just keep messing with them. And unpredictable results, yeah, I didn't even expect her to be dabbing right there. But there it is. Let me reset this. A clean toolbar is a happy toolbar. I'm kidding. Let's let's not mess with little trees right now. All right, pose handle. Let's get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Let's show Lucas. I have no idea who that is, other than the one from Super Smash Brothers. And that's okay. Captions. Well, that's involved with this T button. Never press this T button, because and you probably just pressed it. Anyways, what it does is it puts this model button into an out of view area and uh, it, it's, it's annoying I can tell you that let's just let's just remove the caption thing here if you want to do text just you gotta go yeah you don't need to do the text okay now load model we already have it under the file thing right here so we don't need it down here unless we're really lazy with the mouse load accessory remove model all do the same thing Hell, do we even need this toolbar? No. No, we don't. This is the file toolbar. Literally. File. 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 Gone. Oh, now I feel like I removed too much. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Not actually necessary. I'm surprised. Now, if you go to the left side of the toolbar, you can move it. Not too much to the side, or you'll suddenly do this, which is... Ugh. It's kinda hard to find. It's this little black or gray square right here that you can select. Oh look, you can actually have two layers and you can actually pop out the toolbar. All completely useless options. So, I'm pretty sure there's a way to make the buttons larger too. Now let's let, let, let's talk about this customized thing. So the way this works is you can bring out a toolbar. Let's see, edit toolbar. I'm pretty sure that's it right there, right? Yep. So with this menu open, you can grab things, and drag them off the toolbar that you don't need. Unregistered bones don't need it. Copy and paste, don't need it, don't need it. Drag off, thank you. And once you go into commands, what does options do? Oh, options, sweet, large icons. Yeah! Okay, now, with the commands, what you do here is you select a category, say bookmark or play or. Let's go with something that I'd probably use, like import effect. You drag this onto the toolbar in a spot where you want it. And that's it. I wonder if saving and like save as, anything like that? No. Oh. Well, let's remove these. I was just demonstrating. The reason I say that is because save is all the way up there, as well as undo and redo. Who wants that? But it does get a little nicer. If you click this little gray arrow, you can show quick access toolbar below the ribbon. So instead of up here, it's down here. Wow, does that really get rid of that much screen space? Huh. Oh, well. 
but if you want to minimize the ribbon you have a little little triangle arrow right there and that minimizes the ribbon to be just out of view and if you want to do that even further you have an auto hide ribbon now only do this if you have most of the ribbon down in the toolbar but that's messy and I don't like this as cool as it is